Hey guys, so today I want to run Geekbench 3, the benchmark program here with uh, iOS 7.1 final here on the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5, the 4S, and on the iPhone 4. Uh, so those devices, we do have them over here as you clearly can see. So we're just gonna do pop up this program for those people that wanna have a quick little look of that. Uh, so we do have here Apple A4 800 megahertz single core, uh, Apple A5 800 megahertz dual core, Apple A6 1.3 gigahertz dual core, Apple A7 uh, dual core as well there, uh, but a new processor, uh, but still same clock. So 500 megabytes, 500 megabytes, one gig, one gig. Actually, this one has a little bit more gigabytes, so that's pretty interesting. So this is gonna take a while to run. Uh, at least on the iPhone 4 because it's like old device and there's a big speed difference behind everything. So you can see they're very, very quick there on the iPhone 5S, getting a score of 1411 uh, on a single core, and then it adds those two cores. And the iPhone 5 also here finishes up and you can see that the 5S there uh, is uh, giving you twice the performance there because it is the Apple A7 instead of Apple A6. And now it's going to take some time here on these other devices. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave here, Mom. We'll be back soon. Take some time. And now it's also finished on the iPhone 4S, which is like an iPhone 4, but with an extra core. And you can see there that the iPhone 5 has like triple the performance of 4S. Interesting stuff. Mm-hmm. 
to taking some time. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so we get a score here, 213. Um, a little bit slow down the core, but very much identical to the 4S. Uh, but that extra core is really, really making a speed difference overall, uh, which could definitely be good to know. So yeah, it's quickly a video checking these scores out here. Um, so I'm probably gonna do more videos and comparisons in the future. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Peace out.